Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to release ladybugs into your garden. I'll talk about where I picked them up from, talk about this habitat I'm building. This is the core of the bundle. It's larger fig uh, branches um, from my fig tree that actually died out because of the frost. But that's going to be the core of the bundle. That's where the ladybugs could live if they choose to. And then around that I'm going to cut down these smaller pieces and just make a large bundle where the ladybugs can crawl into and survive for a while while they're in my garden. I'm going to show you how to release them, talk about spraying your flowers down with water before you release them, what's the best time to do it, and just give you a good idea of how you could introduce ladybugs to your vegetable garden. So here are the ladybugs that I'm going to release. This is about 1500 and you can actually, I just got mine on Amazon.com. I'm a Prime member and got them shipped to my house for free. They came in about two days and they're very, very active. They're going to go right into the center of my garden. This is a perennial bed that I keep with wildflowers, perennials, um, some annuals to attract beneficial insects. This is the bundle that I made. It's just wood bundled, tied with jute. Nice size, maybe go a little bit bigger, but I'm going to drop the um, ladybugs right into the top and hopefully that will be their home along with this whole space. So you want to do this in the evening. Some uh, the stuff I read said you want to do it in the morning. Um, but I want them to come in here now, kind of sleep at night, do what they're supposed to do in nature. And maybe they'll be comfortable with staying here because there is a chance that they're all just going to fly away. I'm also releasing them today's uh, June 24th. There are plenty of aphids and different kinds of things in my bed that they can eat. Before I'm cutting it open now, but before you release them, one of the things you want to do is spray down the area because they do need to drink and you want to just soak down the area, put some drops of water all over the place and you're trying to make it hospitable or make a habitat where they're going to want to stay and not fly away. And in fact, I'm going to give them a little more water in there. And it's recommended you do about half, you can see they're coming out already, you want to do about half at a time and it's just ladybugs everywhere. Just drop them in there, sprinkle them around. A lot of them are landing right in there and I hope that they stay. So anyway, it says to do about half one time and then half at a different time. I'm going to take this whole pouch and just drop it right in there that's loaded with ladybugs. I'm going to put all mine in now. It is the evening. If they stay, I think they're going to stay because they like it, not because I do half now and half later. Okay, that's 1,500 ladybugs going into a wood bundle of sticks. It's set up so that the bundle creates lots of cracks and crevices where the ladybugs can go, covered in water so they have something to drink in a perennial bed so they can find insects to eat and maybe they'll make their home there. Let me cut the camera and show you what they look like crawling around. So here's my ladybug nest or habitat, hopefully, where they decide to stay, fly around my garden, and that's 1,500 ladybugs ordered from Amazon. You can get them online, placed into a wood bundle that I made so that they have a home, right into my perennial bed. Let me step back. So that's the perennial bed and then around here is my garden. That's a rabbit trap by the way. But hopefully these ladybugs take hold, hang around here for the season, maybe longer, and take care of all the negative insects or bad insects. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustagarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.